welcome back to my channel folks and today we're making chicken and rice with vegetables you don't have to add the vegetables but the important stuff you need is uh, chicken and rice okay you see I got my chicken I got some jasmine rice but it doesn't have to be jasmine rice it could be any kind of rice except I've never done this with long grain rice or brown rice so you do that at your own risk and then we got a bunch of mixed vegetables here my season is going to be slap your mama Morton's Nature Seasoning, Garlic Powder, Onion Powder, and Ground Black Pepper. And we're also going to use some butter. Now, because we're using Slap Your Mama and the pepper, you might want to go light on that because, you know, the Cajun season is a little spicy. And Morton's, I'm going to see how Morton's do because sometimes I need to add some seasoning salt, but I'm going to taste it first to see how that do. And you're definitely going to need some butter. First things first, the first thing you want to do is get this pot of water boiling. I filled it up halfway. Now, this is a big pack of chicken. So, it depends on how many people you're trying to feed. This has about 14 pieces of wings. So, like I said, it depends on who you're trying to feed, how many days you're trying to have it. So, we're going to move this over here and we can dip this in the water. Now, as long as the water has smoke coming up off it or steam coming up off it, we can go ahead and dip them in there. Take this over there. And also in the back, I got my water going for my rice. You want to put them on at the same time. Most likely the rice will get done first, but that's fine because we're doing the rice in the bag, not that five-minute rice. Okay, so I'm going to take my chicken and just plop them on in there. No time for seasoning yet. I'll tell you when. We're going to make like a chicken broth. I'm looking, looks like I'm going to add just a little more water to have that one covered. You want them all covered. This is real simple to make. Now I'm not sure how long it takes, but I know it's fast. Let's see, it's 6.35. We're gonna see how that do. Now I wanna add the seasonings when this is like, when the chicken turns a pale gray. That's why I'm gonna add the seasonings. Not before the end. You can do it before it is. I'm not. I prefer to do it when the chicken is, like I said, pale gray. And another note, with the Morton seasoning, I did mention that I may add some lorries. It depends on the salt content because that Morton season, um, to me, it just don't give me enough salt. But because we're adding a slap your mama, the slap your mama has salt in it as well. So I want to be careful not to over salt, but I also want those flavors, like the Cajun seasoning flavor a little bit. And the Morton season, like I said before, the Morton got something Lowry's don't, and Lowry's got something Morton's don't. So if you add them, all three, do it in moderation. You don't want your blood pressure shooting up. And go easy with the pepper because the Cajun is spicy. If you add that pepper, that might just burn your butthole. I'm just saying. I'm going to let this boil, and I'll get back to you when it turns gray. Now, you can see the chicken has floated, and they're gray. I should have just said, when the chicken floats, it does it just like it does when you fry chicken. You know it's done when it's floating. Okay, now some people are picky. They'll be like, skin this up. Oh, we don't want that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And this is basically the fat. Some of the fat coming up from the chicken. To me, that's flavor. Okay, so if you want to skim that off, go ahead and skim it. Now, like I said, I got oh, back here my water from a rice boiling. Now, if people cook rice differently. My thing is, 
because so many rices have different directions, follow what's on the back of your package. This package says, when the water starts boiling, add your rice. Now, like I said, I want this to last a couple of days. And this is for two people. So, I'm going to add a lot of rice. Let's see what they say. Actually, they don't say it. they just talking about nutrition facts. Alrighty, they say simmer for 10 to 12 minutes, though. Alright, so let's see. How are you measuring, folks? If you're using this for two people for two days, I'm going to say add maybe four cups. Four cups of rice. Then if you like a lot of rice, bump all that. Just add what you like. Don't matter. You know I don't like to follow the rules of the packages anyway. Just make sure you don't overdo it and have more rice than water because then you're going to have to add some more and of course as you go along I mean shoot the next day if you decide you need more rice then go ahead and make some more rice it's been about 15 to 20 minutes later you see that's good enough for me now on to my seasonings Now, for all you seasoning folks, let's start with the Cajun. I'm say to start, I'm gonna cut so many pieces of chicken. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons. My the flavor I mainly want is the Cajun because that's gonna be good. But you do this how you like. You don't even have to add the same seasoning I'm doing. But this is gonna basically be a chicken broth. And actually, this is how you make chicken broth. You take chicken, a whole chicken, any type of chicken, you boil it, add some butter, add your seasonings, taste it, and you got chicken broth. Depends on your taste. So now I'm going to Morton's Nature Seasoning. Like I said, easy on salt. So I'm going to add one tablespoon. That looks like a tablespoon and a half, but you know what I mean. Now my garlic and my onion powder... You add that however you like it to taste. Depends on how little or how much you want. I'm not sure how much that was. I like garlic. Y'all know that by now. But um, we're also going to taste this onion powder. Two tablespoons. Big pot. Now my pepper. The ground black pepper. Oh, this is clogging up. I'm going to do that. That was about a teaspoon. Okay, I'm going to get that smooshed in there. And we're also going to taste this. I'm going to give it about 15 minutes for the seasons to cook in. And because you want to make sure this is really, really done thoroughly before you taste it. Even though they're floating, I can see some of the tips of them are red still. Yeah. They're floating, but we ain't frying. We just boiling. So before I put any spoon in that to give it a nice taste, I'm going to give it 15 more minutes for me just to be safe. Now I'm going to add my butter. Now for this... To me, when you add the butter, I'm going to start with a tablespoon. Hmm? I'm not going to add any lorries right now until I taste it and see what it needs. Because we already got two items with salt content in them. So if you're watching your salt, definitely look out for that. Okay, you see the color of water changed? It's alright. Now you see that one, like all the blood pooled in the end of it? Mm -mm, I'm not about to taste that. No, thank you. Better safe than sorry. So before we go tasting it, the minute you see them floating and you add your seed your seasonings again, give it 15 more minutes before you decide to taste the liquid. Now, with rice, what you want to do is once it starts boiling, you want to put a top on it. Get it back to boiling. And you cut the temperature down and usually it's done when the rice soaks up all the water 
Yeah, that's doing a nice boil. Let me get a top. And I'm going to lower my temperature. So right now it's on six. I'm going to lower that to two. Before I add my vegetables, I'm going to taste my broth. Caution is hot. Look at the broth. See some of the seasonings in there. Please blow if you're tasting. It's hot. I don't want to hear y'all complaining. Ooh, that's perfect. All right. I'm going to get my veggies ready. Now, I don't want to pour a whole lot. Ooh, this seems like it got a whole lot of peas in it. Look at that. But you can see that. You can't see that. Okay, so I don't want to have a bunch, a bunch of vegetables, but just a little bit that much vegetables to add some flavor. That was a lot of peas in that part. Let me get some corn up in there. But this is a big pot. But I mainly want it to be about the rice, not the vegetables. But when you're sharing, you got to compromise. Okay. I'm not a big fan of peas. So if you're not a big fan of peas, they do have other mixed vegetables that don't have peas. I didn't realize this had peas when I got it. So I'm hoping those peas will uh, soak up the flavor. I'm going to add just a little more vegetables because that's a big pot. There we go. So that will be about mm, maybe two and a half cups of vegetables. But if you like a whole lot of vegetables in it, it's all up to you how much you add. On that part, that's up to you. You can freestyle that. Now, I'm going to let the vegetables boil. Ooh, there's green beans in there. Okay, I really want that to absorb. So, we're going to start with 15 minutes of boiling the vegetables with the chicken broth. And we're going to see how that do. Because y'all know, anybody that cooks some green beans, y'all have seen me cook green beans before. That ain't it. And a lot of times when you cook them, you can cook them and they're considered done still looking like that uh-uh i like them when the color fades and they're super soft that's when i feel like they're done so get that incorporated so i'm gonna give it about like i said 15 minutes then i'm gonna give it a taste to see if i need to add anything else because sometimes the vegetables do draw the broth the um the flavor of the broth down you might have to add extra stuff because those vegetables aren't seasoned they're bland and frozen and also because they're frozen it's going to add additional water to the pot that may dilute the seasonings we already have oh that's good but we'll see see you in 15. all right it's been 10 minutes see how the Green beans is fading in color. That's what I'm talking about. Now, at this point, I know I said 15 minutes. It's been 10 minutes already. I'm going to use the last 5 minutes to put my rice in. Okay. So that last 5 minutes will give the, a chance for the rice to boil and get some of that flavor. And also so the vegetables can soak up the flavor. Look at the back of that rice. No burn, no sticking. That's what I'm talking about. Probably because I use a non-stick pan, but hey. That's still pretty cool. Okay. We've reached a point where it's time for plating. That there says done to me. See, I like that about that much vegetables in the rice. I don't want it to be overcrowded like that. And I like a lot of broth. It's kind of like a porridge, I guess. But this is very cheap and easy to make. Depends on where you get your wings from. Now, I got my wings from Meyer. So it's a bit expensive, but these wings are huge. These wings are huge. Now, if you get them from like Imperial, Save-A-Lot, Kroger, they'll be cheaper. You can get a 
six pack, maybe even a four pack. Depends on how they sell them. And like I said, these also this also tastes delicious with legs. Chicken legs are way cheaper. You can get a whole bunch. You can get like eight legs for like three bucks. Those are still cheap. It's the wings that's kind of pricey. As long as your chicken has the skin and bone, that is where a lot of the flavor comes from. And that's how a lot of people make their broth. You can make bone broth from chicken by using the bones from chicken. You can make some chicken stock by using the whole chickens or partial chickens. Sometimes I make chicken noodle soup with using, you know, making a broth from the chicken. And the chickens will break, break like this one broke in half. They will break, break apart. But with that said, I want to get to plating. And we're going to get to tasting. Look at the chicken pieces, the broth. Heck yeah. Now I got to tell you, you can add it with a strainer spoon like this if you don't want the broth. Or if you want the broth, you know, go ahead and add it with a big spoon. This is going to be good, y'all. First, let me start with the broth. Look at that broth. You see the little bubbles there that got all the, the juices from the chicken. And it gets a little more cloudy because of the starch and the rice. That's good. And it's like it warms you in your center. Now, this is hot as hell. You can see the steam flowing. So you might want to let this cool down before you start digging into the chicken. And that rice, that starch... It uh, holds heat. It is nice and hearty. And the chicken wing, so soft. Mm. I'm about to get into it. Thank you guys so much for checking out my channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit your notification bell so you'll be notified any and every time I post a vid. Give me a like. Leave a comment. Let me know you were here. Thanks again for watching, y'all. Peace.